One of the first LEGO trains I wanted as a kid was the 4558 Metroliner from 1991. I loved the red, white, and blue stripes, presumably to match the livery of Amtrak trains from that era. This set is quite expensive to get nowadays, or even to part together, due in part to its use of the old gray. In today's video, we are going to do the next best thing, which is to build a modern Metroliner designed by Oninino on Rebrickable. The instructions are for a locomotive and passenger car. I've expanded it by building three of the passenger cars from the instructions and a simple baggage car I designed to fit with the train. To me, the locomotive definitely looks like an Amtrak GE P32AC-DM with the Phase 3 livery. Eventually, I'd like to add some stickers to the build, but that will be for another time. If you want to see the parts haul for this build, I've split that into a separate video. It took a couple of months to get all the parts needed from several stores on Bricklink. Let's take a look at the completed train and check out some of its features. All right, well, here's the completed train, or at least as complete as it is for now. Uh, so we have the baggage car all the way in the back. We'll look at that in a second. And then we've got three of the passenger wagons uh, directly from the instructions. I didn't really make any changes there. Uh, a few changes here, not much. Um, it has been converted to powered up. And I've tried to incorporate a power button. Um, I need to do better on this. This is something I'm going to be redesigning. Um, but you can push this down. You won't even hear or feel the click. That should have started it. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I need to at least be able to see the LED, which you can't see. And you can't, there's no tactile feel on this button. Like I have every other mo locomotive I've done so far. I've incorporated some kind of power button that is actually usable. Uh, but again, that was something I added. Uh, of course, we're running pie bricks. We have dual motors here. Um, I do have a tutorial if you're interested in seeing how that works. Um, and I think there are more developments coming soon on the pie bricks front. Uh, so I'm able to just hold the button down and slowly accelerate. I think these batteries are a little weak. Um, Let's go ahead and kick up the speed. We've got these wide radius curves here. I, I just love it. it <laughs> I kind of don't feel the need. Oh, I went too far. Well, we can start back here. Uh, to build the Metro Liner anymore because I just, I really, this satisfies my need for uh, an Amtrak like train, and this is even closer to, to Amtrak. Um, so we've got this a very simple uh, baggage car here. Um, it's basically built just like the others, you know, with the kind of passageway here. Um, you know, I don't even know if a baggage car would have the passageway. I I, I would think it it might not, um, but I I just I put it on there. I didn't know how else to build this end uh, that would be interesting. It wasn't just a wall of of bricks like we have here. Um, so of course we've got the doors here. Oh, come on. Well, <laughs> they slide together um, and they're they're a little loose, but I've found, you know, like they don't move around too much once the train is moving and everything. You can kind of line it up here to get it centered uh, and it's fine <clears throat> with one hand it is a little bit tough to get these apart. So I'm not going to worry about it for now. Um, and of course, it's the exact same on the other side. Nothing too special there. Um, now we have the passenger wagon. And these are pretty cool. Again, doing this one-handed, um, the doors actually... Uh, well, it opens this way. Yep. So they are connected via the droid arms. Uh, and that works pretty well. Um, so you've got uh, four doors per carriage. Um, so there's a lot of doors. Uh, they had to, that was something I had to build quite a lot. <laughs> um, all right. Doing this one handed. Yep. Okay. So this actually opens up. Uh, so you can place your mini figs, um, inside here. Um, so these pieces here are completely loose and upside down. And when I first built it, they were just falling out like crazy. And I was thinking about rebuilding, redesigning it. I was like, this doesn't work. But 
once you build the doors <laughs> and you have this, uh, you can't see it here, but there's a droid arm in there, it actually secures it in place. Um, I don't think I got any footage of that when I was building it. Uh, maybe I'll try to splice it in if I have it in time. Um, but yeah, I mean, these just, they would not stay even without any vibration or movement. They would just fall out because they're, they slot in there. But like I said, the doors take care of that. Um, so th they are all designed exactly the same. This is from the instructions. There's only one car in the instructions. I just built it three times. And boy, you can tell how scratched these windows are. Wow. And they do, they can kind of bow in and out here. They are loose, but it, it's fine. Um, so you've got these little guys. I guess they're tables. I might not have built these if I had really paid attention um, when I created the wanted list because I had to have um, a bunch of these. Uh, I'll just take it out there. These bracket pieces, which I didn't really have. Uh, and that was kind of a, a pain, uh, you know, in the store selection process to get all these parts. Um, I might have just omitted those. Um, I might build different. Um, I guess they're supposed to be tables, but I, I, it it doesn't really look like a table, does it? So if you know what this is, <laughs> let me know in the comments. I actually have a fourth car I'm working on. But I think what I'm going to do is I want to redesign the interiors of some of these. Uh, to just be a little bit different from each other. So I'll, I'll, maybe I can do some research and see what I could do. If nothing else, I could just have all the chairs facing the same way and it just be kind of a passenger car uh, instead of a dining car, if that's what this is. I mean, maybe I could do a sleeper. Um, I guess we've got this here for maybe storing luggage, that kind of thing. Um, and you can see here the difference in yellows. And I think both of these are new. That That's the new, new white uh which is very much cream colored um that that, that stuff drives me crazy but it's, it's just something i'm coming to terms with as a lego fan every time i work with a different color i'm thinking wow these colors are awful uh, no blue pieces match each other no reds match each other no yellows and i'm just coming to the conclusion it's all lego and it depends on when they were manufactured what their life has been like and their exposure to uv light and you know those kind of things when they were manufactured um so yeah, we're gonna back up here and grab our cars. Uh, let's take a look at the locomotive here. So again, we have these same style doors here. Uh, so I had to get these uh, door rail pieces. This is all dark azure for the blue stripe. And I think that looks a lot better than, than just standard blue. Um, so again, these are doors number 13 and 14 <laughs> on either side here. Um, I guess this should come off fairly easy. It's funny. Sometimes you can have one stud connecting and it'll just uh, pull the train apart. <laughs> well, here's that. <sighs> okay. Oh. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I need to push that up a little bit. Uh, but that was the button solution. Just something to get in there and, and push down the green button but I want to do something better. I like the tactile feel of the button uh, through the bricks to the top. That's generally what I would do. So that's what it looks like. I think it looks really good. Again, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the actual model number for this locomotive, what I think it looks like, uh, but it seems to model it fairly well. And, uh, you know, I, I like just the way some of the some of this is done here. I think the detailing looks really good. So this train will appear in future videos. I have uh, some modifications I wanna make, uh, not just to the carriages and the interiors, but actually to the locomotive and how it's powered exactly. But that will be in a separate video in the future. Again, instructions to this build will be linked in the description. Um, the Maybe I can do a parts list because the parts list that's on Rebrickable isn't accurate. And to me, that was a little disappointing um, with $15 instructions for, for these two. Um, that's a little more than I've paid for a lot of others. So not having an accurate parts list right there on Rebrickable is a little disappointing. Um, for me, it wasn't a big deal because I build these in studio anyways, just to try them out and uh, get a feel for how they're built. And then my parts list is generated from that. I'm able to copy and paste these cars and then I added the, the baggage car in the back, you know, all in studio and then get a parts list for the entire thing at once. 
but I just wanted to give that warning if you are planning on picking this up. So I want to thank the channel members for helping to keep the lights on here. It is much appreciated. We'll be seeing more of this locomotive in the future. Thank you all for watching and remember to play well.